So this this message is sponsored by Views of the NYC. Make sure if you want a heavy view, <laughs> you go to the NYC. Like, you know, I never wanted to be mediocre, you know what I'm saying? And I saw my dad and how strong of a man he was. Nah, but you know what I'm saying? I, like, I knew, I knew what my goals for life was, you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew my goals needed to improve. Like, I knew my, like, as a man, I just, like, could not take it, man. And the only thing I strive for in life is to be a strong man. I wanted to be a man that, you know, that was had a lot of integrity. I wanted to be a man that could um, take care of a family. I wanted to be somebody that was in high esteem with the most high. Because, I, you know, throughout my life, I've lived through a lot of failure. Um, my failures have really been the driving force of my unsuccessful lifestyle in my 20s. So my life really ain't started to change until about maybe 2007, 2010, around there. And um, like, I didn't know how to, I was a nerd, man. Like, I didn't know how to get women. You know, I knew how to work. I knew how to be responsible. I knew how to be independent. But it was like a fear that I didn't want to have, like, for going out and achieving things on my own. Like, I was actually scared to, like, go in the world and uh, and just so afraid of dying. Hey, my dad kicked me out when I was 17. He didn't. Like that, I played video games. I struggled so bad, I ended up on a broken couch. But one night after sleeping on the couch, I said, nah, this ain't for me. Got me a hard job and went to school. See, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like overcoming, like, like overcoming your issues. Like, and it and it takes some, like, you know, with, with me, what really changed my trajectory was like, man, I look at the way I look at the way that the Most High was with his people. I look at the way how the Most High always kept his word to his people. Even good word and bad word, you know what I'm saying? Like he was a God of integrity, respect, and all, he didn't ask for a lot. But, you know what I'm saying? We go through these things that, you know, that make us stronger. Like I wouldn't be talking to y'all today um, if, I hadn't had the courage to start a stream or I wouldn't be talking to y'all if I didn't have the courage to move out, you know, when I was, um, move out when I was, what, how old I was, 30, 32, I think I moved out at 32, you know, and my, like, my failures, I lived in the past, like, I thought, you know, since I didn't make it through high school, like, my life, my life wouldn't amount to nothing. Like I was very, but it was more like a fear-based stagnicity. You know what I'm saying? Like I stayed, I stayed there. I stayed there just wallowing in the past. And I, I did, I swear to you, I swear to y'all, man, as y'all looking at me right now, I did not move. I did not move. I watched everybody, all the men around me, all the dudes that I went to school with, they having kids, having families, and moving up. And I was, and I was sad, you know? Hey man, I'm always down to talk, man. You know, but you know, you know, but good, good thing I had like my dad, you know, my dad wasn't really present like in my teen years, but he had enough presence in my life that I was able to see him travel. I saw him work hard jobs. I saw him do a lot. And my dad lived with no fear. So I was like, how can I be the son of my father and live without and live with fear? So I was like, I'm not being the best son. I'm not being the best as I can be. From where I was 13 years ago in 2007 to where I am now, it was worth the journey. You know, I went through a metamorphosis or something. Like I came out of my shell and it, 
it all started in 2007 when I moved out. And I was able to see some things in front of me that I really couldn't understand. So I had to figure out like, how is this happening in front? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is like, I don't have a lot of ambition as far as, you know, being rich, being known. You know, it's funny because I want a lot of subscribers. So this, this message is sponsored by Views of the NYC. Make sure if you want a heavy view, <laughs> you go to the NYC. But nah, man, like um, I went through a phase, like I wanted to figure out how to attract women. I wanted to uh, figure out like, how can I be myself, but be better than what I am? So, you know, I went on this journey to where I started to learn how to attract women. I became a pickup artist for five years and I went out to clubs and, you know, you know, being in the club wasn't my thing, but I had to transform into a different person. Like I'm mainly an introvert. I don't like, a, I don't have a lot of friends. I don't have a lot of people in my inner circle, but I saw the positive benefits of being a social person and like coming and coming into your own as a man, being able to handle yourself in public. Um, I saw that you you can deal with a different amount of uh, women. There are beautiful, beautiful women out there, and they all have different personalities. And you need to learn as a man, you need to know who you are. You need to know what you like, what's your boundaries, and be able to project that in, on, onto a woman and it'll attract the fashion. I had to learn how to approach women. I need to learn how to seduce a woman. I need to learn how to talk to a woman. And and, it, and I don't doubt that the Most High could have gave me those, uh, gave me that courage. But I think even in the book of Sirach, um, that's in the Bible, like in the Apocrypha Bible, um, it talks about experience being the best teacher. You know what I'm saying? And you have to go experience some things. Like for example, um, tangent the the recent uh, reaction video that I made to One Piece all openers and stuff. So what I did, I added some background music to the video. You know, just some real chill vibe music. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because you know you can't play those openers because you get hit with copyrights. And it turns out that nobody didn't like that. But since you know, I took a shot and I tried something and it wasn't as successful, but it's still getting views. But uh, it could have been a better video. So I just thought, uh, you know, the overall, so this, this message is sponsored by Views of the NYC. Make sure if you want a heavy view, <laughs> you go to the NYC. Statement that I'm making is that, man, you gotta experience things to become better. And I, you know what I'm saying? I really want you guys to like, kind of understand that. You know, you have to go through hardships. Like my life is full of enduring trials, enduring bullies, enduring rejection, constantly. Like even as good as I've got with women, I was still getting rejected. Like throughout these last like, eight years I was still being rejected by women so you know when I've been rejected enough I gotta start to look at myself but as a man like I, I need to learn how to handle myself and be be uh, better every day be better every day